and Nick here, how's it going? And if you haven't noticed already, I tend to talk about space every opportunity I get. Call it obsession, call it what you may, but one thing is for sure. I've noticed that as a society, we tend to talk a lot more about the idea of space rather than the brilliant machinery that actually helps us explore it. It's that discrepancy I'm here today to break, and it all starts with the Hubble Space Telescope. Yes, we know the Hubble is 25 years old, it has some remarkable technology on board, and it's currently our greatest window into the observable universe. It's also helped us capture some pretty remarkable images. But what if I told you that NASA has just completed construction on its bigger brother, the James Webb Telescope. It has a monstrous budget, some amazing tech, and a most obviously, some killer optics. The journey to truly appreciating NASA's mission and vision begins here. Let's check it out. All right, so before we can even talk about the James Webb, we need to understand the several hardships it's faced on its journey to completion. For one, no one really ever saw a problem with the Hubble. It's 25 years old, sure, but it's allowed us to capture some amazing images, whether it be breaking nebulae, distant stars, or discerning the existence of exoplanets, asteroids, so on and so forth. All of that, and then you consider the monstrous $8 billion budget for the James Webb, and everyone kind of thinks that producing a new telescope would be monstrously wasteful. And that's where you would be completely wrong. The James Webb blows the Hubble out of the water. So what's so cool about the James Webb? Well, for one, it was built to have 278 square feet of hexagonal beryllium coated mirrors compared to that of the Hubble, which just has a measly 48. Not only that, but the James Webb was also designed to see in the infrared spectrum, which the Hubble is physically incapable of doing so because it runs so warm, meaning that if you were to build an infrared mode and put it on the Hubble, the telescope emits so much heat that all of the readings would be skewed from the get-go. Unlike the Hubble, the James Webb is built to run as close to absolute zero as possible, meaning with infrared mode turned on, we'll finally be able to see through thick layers of dust, asteroid belts, and any particle wave and vapor wave that can possibly deter our site. NASA is already running tests on the James Webb and plans to launch in late October of 2018. Now here's my favorite part. Why should you care? Well, the answer lies in our fundamental inability to discern the universe. Our math, physics, chemistry is absolutely meaningless if we can't apply it to the world beyond us. And sure, we can talk about the beauty of the stars and the infinity of the cosmos around us that's barely fathomable, but when it comes down to it, it's a cluster of bolts, nails, steel, and a lot of code that truly helps us see beyond ourselves. Don't think of the technicalities. That's not what's important. All I'm saying is look at the James Webb and truly appreciate what it brings to the table and what it can do for humanity. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for making it this far. Click my links down below to read my Huffington Post articles and follow me on social media when you can. Thanks, guys.